Pure Bond, Chapter 3, The Lifestyle of Sarah Morgan For this young woman, Sarah Morgan has a wealthy family, living a rich, fulfilling life. Her mother, Maria Morgan, is a fashion designer. She lets her daughter try out some of her dress designs to see if she likes them. She was also a ballet dancer. She taught Sarah almost everything she knew about ballet when she was her age, and now Sarah's carrying on her legacy. Her father, Chester Morgan, is a bank accountant. He gives his customers their monthly checks or the amount of money they need for other important reasons. Sarah's parents do everything they can to make their daughter happy, and Sarah goes to school to get her work done. She's a smart and talented student, and she has five great friends and an athletic boyfriend too, and she couldn't feel any happier right now. Ready for another day at school? I am. Let's go. She got in the car, left the premises, and went to school as her father watched from the front door. She's turning into a mature young woman. I am so proud of her. She arrived at the CMA Academy in about 23 minutes as Mr. Rogers stopped at the front gate to drop her off. Well, here we are. Have a good day at school, Miss Morgan. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. See you later. As Sarah was walking inside the school, Mr. Rogers then left the premises. From there, she met Laura and Jessie in the hallways and asked them if they wanted to come over to her place after school. Sure we can come. Are you going to ask Jack to come too? Of course I am. I say the time has come to show him what I have. I'll ask him later today. He'll definitely come to the dancing room. He always checks on me, so I'll tell him then. Cool! He'll be surprised when he sees your place. All right, Sarah. We'll see you at lunch. Later, girls. Later. Sarah waved her best friends goodbye as they were all heading towards their own classes. Later during the day, Sarah was continuing her ballet dancing as Jack came in to see her. Hey, Sarah. Hey, babe. I was just wondering if you're not too busy after school. Would you like to come see my mansion? A mansion? Are you serious? I am definitely serious, Jack. Of course I'll come. I bet it looks awesome. Oh, thanks, Jack. You'll be amazed when you see it. Bring Tyler and Kyle with you, too. If you can. Okay, I will. She wrote down her address on a separate paper, then she gave the paper to Jack, then he put it in his pocket to make sure he don't lose it. As the school day drew to a close and the weekend beginning, Jack, Kyle, and Tyler were heading their way to Sarah's house as they left the CMA Academy. They were all thinking the same thing. I wonder what kind of stuff Sarah has. How big is the place? I know Sarah's house will look amazing. The guys drove closer to Sarah's house, and when they did, they were shocked. Oh my god! 
It's huge! She wasn't kidding when she said she was living in a mansion. Well, guys, let's go in and see what's in it. Jack parked his car in the parking lot, and the guys walked towards the main gate where they saw an intercom. Jack pushed the red button, and then a woman spoke from the intercom. Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Jack Johnson. I'm here to see Sarah. Oh, yes. Miss Morgan has been expecting your arrival, Mr. Johnson. One moment. I'll open the gate for you. Thank you. The gate opened as Jack and the guys walked towards the mansion. They then rang the doorbell and someone had opened the door and greeted them in. Welcome, gentlemen. Hope you all enjoy your visit. Miss Morgan will be with you momentarily. Thank you. As they all waited for Sarah to come down, Jack was looking around the main hall. Aw, oh, man. There are just so many doors. Who knows what's in them? Moments later, Sarah made her way to the main floor where she saw Jack, Tyler, and Kyle waiting for her. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. Home? This place is humongous. You haven't seen half of what she's got here. Even we were amazed when we saw this place. <laughs> How long were you two here? We drove here with Sarah, thanks to her driver. Fair enough. Well then, shall we begin the tour? Alright. Lead the way, Sarah. Sarah started the tour off with the main hall, where there were about 15 doors that led to different rooms. Next, she showed them the backyard, where there was a basketball court, a big swimming pool, two tennis courts, and a garden. Tyler was just thrilled to see a place like Sarah's mansion. Wow, now this is what I call a lifestyle. Next up was the theater room, with a hot dog and popcorn stand, a soda machine, and up to 10 seats for people to enjoy movies. Sarah then wanted to tell Jack something. I really don't like horror movies. Too much blood and gore. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Then she took her friends upstairs. She showed them the library room, the fitness room, the game room, the laundry room, her study room, her parents' room, and finally, her bedroom. Sarah, your room is beautiful. It looks tremendous. <laughs> Thank you! To end the tour off, she took her friends downstairs to the kitchen, where her chefs made them a delicious meal. Whoa! So much food! They all sat down at the table and were preparing themselves to start eating. But before they did that, Sarah wanted their replyment on the tour. So, did you all like the tour? <laughs> yeah! It was incredible! Thanks for bringing us here, Sarah. You're welcome, Tyler. I want to thank you all for coming here. I hope you all like the place because you can all come over whenever you're ready. Especially you, Jack. I really want you to come and spend some quality time with me. Don't worry. I will, Sarah. I know I said this many times, but Jack, you're a lucky man. Now that that's done, let us eat. They saw it all. They were amazed and they were grateful for her hospitality. Everyone began eating the food that Sarah's chefs had offered them. My god, your chefs made some great food here, Sarah. <laughs> I'll say, this spaghetti is off the charts. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you're all enjoying the meals. That we are, Sarah. They all ate for about 25 minutes. Afterwards, Sarah's friends were full from the food that they ate and were about to leave the mansion. But before they did, Jack was walking around the mansion with Sarah. I had a good time with you today, Sarah. Thanks for inviting us over. It was great. Thanks, Jack. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. He then held Sarah's hands. Hey, I wanted to do something for you for a change. What do you have in mind? I want to take you out on a date. It's time to take our relationship to the next level. I love that idea. Do you know where you want to go on our date? I'll think it over tonight, and I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay, just let me know when to be ready, and I'll be sure Mr. Rogers to come get you when you give me your answer. All right, Sarah, I will. Plus, I can't wait to see your parents, too. Until then, take care. He kissed her on the cheek as they walked back to the main door. All right, guys, I'm ready. Good, let's go. Thanks again, Sarah. See you Monday. Bye! Jack, Tyler, and Kyle left the mansion. And so were Jesse and Laura. Yeah, we'll be on our way, too. I'll have Mr. Rogers take you both back home. Thanks, Sarah. Well, we'll see you Monday. All right, see ya, girls.
Sarah waved her friends goodbye as the guys drove off in Jack's car and Jesse and Laura were being dropped off by Mr. Rogers. She then closed the door and said in her thoughts, Jack, you're a dream that turned into reality. I'm happy that I met you and I'm sure this date will bring us closer together than we already are now.